Hey guys, how's it going? It's Will, and I'm back with another vlog, and just doing some slaying in the background. I'm actually killing some blue dragons. It's a blue dragon task. Not sure how many we have left. Let's check this out real quick. We have 46 more to go, so not that bad. As you can tell, I did achieve 56 Slayer, which is awesome. That is an increase, obviously, from last time. And um, I also hit 69 Strength, which is awesome as well. I just got a text message. Is it from a girl? Nope. Well, that never happens anyway, so... Let's get into a little bit of a story. Now, before I even get into it completely, before you start yelling at your screen, Jim or Will, this happened at my school too, I don't want to hear about it, this is nothing new, because I was talking to Dan about it, and Dan, he graduated last year or something like that, and uh, you know, he remembered it, and he lives in a different state, so, uh, you know, it happened there too, but we, um, we had an assembly today, and it was for, um, like, drunk driving. And it was like, you know, proms coming up, you know, one car was full of drunk drivers, uh, or, I mean like drunk kids and one drunk driver, and another car was uh, full of just not drunk people. And um, obviously, you know, they crashed, you know, these two kids died, uh, all of this stuff, and like they made like a whole video about it, and like it was actually like my school like actually recorded it themselves, like it was around my area, all that stuff happened. And, um, you know, as we were walking in, there's, like, there's two caskets laid out, there's uh, all this memorial stuff, there's, like, people going up and talking about it, um, they even gave us, like, little cards with kids from our school that they used in the video and pretended that they died. Now, see, I understand the, the point of the assembly and everything. I understand that it was about, you know, be careful, you know, think about what you're doing, don't drink and drive, don't do this, you know, life's too short. You know, you don't do this, don't do that. I understand that completely. I get the message. I think it was great. But how they used two kids from our school and pretended that they died and then even had their parents come up on stage and talk about them as if they were dead and kids too? That was extremely insane to me. Like, I, I mean, if it was somebody that we didn't know or just somebody that they made up like Bob Billy Joe Smith Baggins the third. And, you know, put him on a card and put, like, a little, you know, stick figure. That would have been fine. But, like, these were two girls that I knew. Like, I see them every day. Pass by and talk to them. I see them every single day. And it's just like, oh, yeah, by the way, um, they're dead. But not really dead. But we're going to pretend that they're dead. And, yeah, just watch it. I, I did not understand that at all. I did not like that whatsoever. I just wanted to pretty much leave. And, um... It was kind of crazy, but then uh, in tech, instead of uh, working today, we had a, an option to go to an assembly there, and uh, this guy had a presentation on like social media networks and uh, you know the effects of it. You know, something that you may post on there could you know really uh, hurt somebody. Um, and then he also was talking about you know how Snapchat works. You guys know what Snapchat is. Uh, he was talking about you know when you send pictures. And, you know, you have them erased after 10 seconds of sending them. Where do they go? So now, he believes that they go off somewhere in this one folder all the way in outer space. Like, obviously not outer space, but you guys know what I mean. Um, and there's only a few people that have control of that folder. Uh, but as of right now, Snapchat, when you send a picture and it sends off to that person, unless they screenshot that picture after that 10 seconds, it's gone. It goes, it's gone it's not there anymore it's not in anybody's hands um, but with Facebook you know if you if you upload a picture to Facebook and even if you delete it it's still out there so you have to be careful what you post like that's that's basically what he was trying to say uh, you know be careful what you post what's in the picture that you post how you post it uh, and then you're talking about geotagging which if you don't know what geotagging is that's basically when you when you upload something to Facebook and it's like um, uploaded or posted near McDonald's at blah 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 you know it can tell where you are if you have that set up and he was talking about how his wife owned a business and uh, one of the workers in her business um, used company time um, as a day off as sick time and he uploaded a picture to Facebook now he didn't have uh, his boss added but he had the boss's uh, husband added and um, 
he uploaded a picture of him fishing near blah 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 and it popped up showed where he was showed that he wasn't sick at all and dude lost his job he's working at the company for like seven or eight years he said really good employee but you know posted the wrong thing tagged himself in the wrong you know place and bam lost his job that's rough like i would not be able to do that like posting one thing wrong just be like Oh yeah, bro. Um, thought you were sick, but you're over at you know Ronald McDonald's Playhouse playing in the ball pit. You're gone. Like that would just crush my whole hopes and dreams completely. But uh, that's it for me today. I'm actually recording this uh, on the third, so it's like 9:30 right now. Probably not gonna upload this tonight. But if it's not tonight, well, that's gonna be tomorrow morning-ish, lunchtime, and I'll probably have two videos for tomorrow. So. We'll see what happens there. Um, and I'm also maybe going to be uh, recording some of the Orcs Must Die, like I said, in Slender. I want to get some of those gaming videos just, you know, just to release more diverse content to you guys because uh, you're just saucy. And uh, on that note, I'm going to get out of here. So take it easy, guys. Peace.